Hi, and good afternoon. My name is Albert, and welcome to episode one of my TV movie trailer discussion and breakdown series. To kick things off, I will begin with season one, episode seven of Love, Death and Robots, entitled Beyond the Aquila Rift. A little history first. This episode was actually adapted from an Alistair Reynolds collection of short science fiction stories, also called Beyond the Aquila Rift. With a similar story arc, a crew was transported many light years into deep space, dealing with loss and tormented by the ghosts of their past. But let's dive into the episode. We join the crew of the Blue Goose, who is setting out to the stars on an unknown job. It seems to be a high profile cargo mission or something like that. No information, but who knows. We see that the humans have created the technology to slingshot spaceships across the universe. A very interesting piece of technology, seen in other science fiction TV shows like Stargate and Star Trek Voyager. But due to the unknown error of the core computer, Archangel, the crew is sent months off course into uncharted space. The first person to wake up is the captain, Tom. He awakes in the ship and it is at full alert and things are looking grim. However, in that moment, the door opens and someone comes walking in. And it's an old love of the captain called Greta, someone he used to know from his past. She tells Tom she has rescued them and she explains what's happened to him and his crew. And after a little panic with one of the crew members called Susie, everything's okay. We then see Greta and Tom reconnect under this grim situation in the classic science fiction carnal style. But everything is not what it seems. They return to the cryo beds and Susie is woken up again. And this is when our suspicions are confirmed. Susie seems delirious and tries to warn Tom, saying that Greta isn't what she seems. And after she tries to attack Greta, Susie is knocked out on the ground. Tom then demands to see the truth. Initially, Greta resists at first, but shows him. And this is when we see the truth. Tom opens his eyes and he looks old and ragged and malnourished. The surrounding area shows us that the other crew is dead. And it seems Susie was only killed recently. Maybe. And around him we see the ship has been entangled in this brown web substance. And then we hear Greta's voice. And at first she holds the shape of the woman. But instantly her shape changes to this form of a giant white spider. And Tom screams. She screams. We all scream. <laughs> and Tom wakes up again. In the false reality. With Greta but has no memory of what just happened. And as the episode ends, we see the true location of the ship. And it seems to be trapped in this large web structure in space. And we also see other ships trapped in this substance. And that's the end of the episode. Now, this was a thrilling piece of science fiction. A classic sci-fi short, great voices used, and fantastic animation. Now, what's my thoughts on this? Well, it seems to me that maybe all the ships we see entering the slingshot in the beginning of the episode are perhaps the same ships we see at the end of the episode that arrived a few hundred years before the Blue Goose. Maybe. Was Greta and her kind 
feeding on the crew? Or on the ships? This can't be confirmed. There is no evidence to say that she was eating anyone. In fact, it seems she may have been telling the truth about trying to help lost souls who come into this area of space. Because the bodies aren't eaten. They seem to be just degraded. Now, of course, we do see Susie has been killed. Maybe Greta did it in self-defense because Susie, in her semi-woken space, sorry, semi-woken state, attacked her. Who knows? Maybe she was already dead during the crash, or maybe it's just a case that she killed herself. We don't know. Now, creating the false realities can be seen as sinister. But maybe she had bad experiences from the other crews. Maybe the other crews went insane knowing they were trapped and had no way home. Because Greta did say, before she woke Tom, you're not ready to see. Perhaps indicating that his mind wouldn't deal with the death of his crew or the idea of where they were. This can't be confirmed, of course. <laughs> but these are my opinions. These are my theories. And perhaps there is a truth I have yet to discover. But I will leave that mystery up to you. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this little podcast. It is my first podcast, but trust me, there will be many, many more. Thanks for listening. And I will catch you soon.